My name's Lisa Johnson and I'm from Sheffield. Hiya, I'm Paul Johnson, I'm from Sheffield also. We're here in uh, sunny Tenerife. Just to say a few words of how we came to uh, buy a property in Tenerife through uh, Los Gigantes Properties. Uh, we went on uh, our adventure through the Place in the Sun in Birmingham, NEC exhibition. Came across uh, Paul Ruan and the team. And Nikki, who also, she was to live in Sheffield, Nikki, didn't she? So we sort of got chatting. She's always, always helped us and, and been fantastic. We've had the property now coming up to three years. Uh, we're in Las Gigantes now, just uh, come over to say uh, sort of hello to Nikki and drop her that bottle of wine. Which we promised three years ago. We promised about three years ago, yeah. So she's had the bottle of wine today and she's helped us out uh, with a, a, a missed delivery we've had. Some postal uh, delivery was uh, sent to our uh, property, but obviously we was uh, back home in Sheffield. So she's now sorting that out for us. She's so, been yeah. she's really helpful, isn't she, Nick? Every time we've got a question and we're not sure of anything, we'll just send her a message and she just gets back to us, doesn't she, straight away and gives us advice what to what to do. She's probably more than my top 10 uh, WhatsApp <laughs> contacts at this moment in time. So yeah, really helpful, really smooth. The, the purchasing was, was, was really smooth. You're spending uh, obviously uh, a, a lot of money in a, in a country you're not aware of. Obviously I've been coming to Tenerife since I was 17 and since our daughter was uh, sort of three, she's now 18. 18. So you, we've been coming to Tenerife for a number of years. We absolutely love Tenerife, don't we? So it's, it we've got ideal. opportunity to buy here. We just jumped to it, didn't we? It was the best thing we've ever done. <laughs> but the, the, the transition of the purchase and how everything was handled and everything was all up front. Really professional, really, really professional helpful. And, and it, was a, it was a breeze to be fair. So it gave and enjoyable more time as to, well, wasn't it? Yeah. Looking round and picking properties and it was, it was really good. Good, good experience. As I say, Nikki has been more than helpful, hasn't she? Still so. continuing to help three years on, so thank you. Um, yep, so yeah, Amalfi's a really lovely restaurant, really, really friendly staff. The last time I came, I came with my mum and dad and my mum fell down and they, we told the guy, didn't we, that Amalfi, and he gave us a glass of champagne and he says, oh yeah, yeah just just because you've had a bit of a rough time with your mum falling down, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful food. Tavisca's Spice, that's a really nice curry house. Uh, as again, again, staff could be more friendly, are really, really nice. Every really, time, every time yeah, you see they them, always, they always, they know you when you cook, because obviously we try and get over here three or four times a year, so they remember us and always sort of give you a wave when you walk past. Uh, where else? Like restaurant-wise. One of my other favourites is El Mirado. They have a really nice tuna steak. Recommend the tuna steak. The scenery is just at the side of the sea, so it's really lovely. Just it? overlooked Playa del Duque, so it's really nice setting. A nice and, romantic uh, again, meal if you're going for a special occasion. Not that I'm romantic, but I try. <laughs> Uh, yeah, his favourite beach is, uh, is it La Pinta, La Pinta Beach? Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? The sea's nice and calm if you want to go for a swim. Del Duque Beach, beach is lovely, as against the sand's, sand's nice, the sea's nice. It can get a bit rough in the winter, so you have to be a bit careful. Um, but yeah, La Pinta's his favourite beach, so we tend to go there a couple of times when we're, when we're over here. I have a few favourite bars, but one of them is the uh, Colonial. It's really, again, really friendly, really nice atmosphere, staff are really friendly. They're always busy, aren't they? Always He's busy, you always manage to squeeze you in and, and uh, you get a table, but really nice. And the manager there is really nice. Manager's nice. His daughter, daughter and his son work there, there and they're lovely, aren't there. they? And really, really nice and friendly. Got my favourite Peroni on uh, on draft, so that's always uh, a, an award winner. But no, really nice. Yeah, we were in there last night and they were just automatically come over and said, is it a Peroni and a, a San Valentin wine? We're like, yes, please. But there's <laughs> so many, that's quite many, nice. many really nice pubs but that's that's a standard a standout pub the colonial <laughs> I, uh, we don't really do a lot of uh, sort of sport when we get to Tenerife, we like to chill out, but we do a hell of a lot of walking, so we can walk from uh, Costa Deca, play a fanaby where we're sort of located, over to La Caleta. Really nice so, level sort of walk, and uh, you pick up one or two sort of drinks on the way, and it's uh, it's about a three or four kilometre sort of round trip, and it's uh, it's good to have a sort of a, a mid-morning walk, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we usually have a more water walk just after breakfast, and then in the afternoon try and have a bit of a swim in the pool, just to do a bit of exercise, <laughs> although we do come to really likes it's nice to go swimming and walking but any more than four lengths and that's too much <laughs>
We usually rent a car when we come to Tenerife, but this time being quite difficult, the pandemic sort of uh, caused an issue with regards to rentals. They're either really expensive or, or just, they, not they're just not available, are they? So we've come to Las Gigantes today. We've come, we've on, come the, on the bus, uh, on the bus, which is very reliable. Very reliable bus. bus service, it's and you can get around the island really easily on the bus if you don't want to drive. So it's uh, so the buses the buses are on, more on time than they are back in the UK. And they got they got the uh, the bus service of the Tixi. It's got an app, so we've downloaded the app you can even sort of locate, the, locate the bus where your bus stop is where and bus where it's going are. and so what time it's quite uh, quite easy to use but not uh, not as easy as driving unfortunately we did start to learn spanish just before the pandemic unfortunately we've not had a chance to take that back up uh, but we do we call it spanglish don't we we do we have we try to learn ourselves but we are going to hopefully start again going to classes um, but yeah it's something we really want to do so we're hoping to pick that up pretty quick just like to say thanks to uh, Nikki and the team at Los Gigantes Properties. It's three years uh, next year we've uh, purchased our property and she still continues to help us. She's obviously one of my sort of top ten on the WhatsApp. We've got any issues with bills or letters we've received, she'll always answer them quickly. She's helped us uh, today to get uh, new bank cards at the Santander Bank. So again, always willing yeah. to help. Big thank you for really the good. ongoing support big, that big she gives you. and she said she'd obviously, while ever we've got a property over here, she's always happy to help. So it, it, it's, it makes buying a property a lot easier and integrating into the uh, Spanish life easier when you've got somebody here that you can you can talk to if you're unsure about anything. So yeah, we do we do appreciate, we do, we do all, appreciate she's, all the help she does. She's done. Really, really good. Really, really good professional service. and really helpful. And also thanks to the Tips of Tennis for, for the, uh, for the coffees. Thank you.